Hello, and welcome back to Japan's Perfect Pens. My name is Richard, and I'll be taking you through a Namiki Emperor review today. Today's pen will be the Namiki Emperor Kisamon Birds in Flight, which is by Hayakusen Murata. And this pen is from the early 1990s, though there's no date stamp on the near block there usually is. So here is the pen. You can see the birds there, and the key feature of this style of pen is the gold background, the heavy use of the gold. Now, this is a rounded cap Namiki Emperor. It's an eyedropper pen with a valve, Ebonite with Arushi and Makie. It's got pilot branding because it's from the early 90s, which means it's got a pilot nib and a pilot branding on the clip. So, having a look at the pen, and at the top here you can see pilot on the clip. Now the Makie work over the top of the gold background is Togidashi Taka Makie, which is the raised technique, though in this particular instance it isn't particularly raised because that's not the main feature of the pen. The gold background is called Nashiji style. And here you also see it on the Namiki Emperor Carp on Waterfall, a pen also made by Hayakusa Murata, although more recently than the Kisamon Birds in Flight pen. You see it in evidence, especially here on the back of the pen, and it's very much used as a background with other things over the top of it. Here, also, again, by Murata, in the Namiki Emperor Autumn Flower Huggy, with very much the same effect as a background. So, this Nashiji style gold powder, it's a dense gold makie, its look is said to resemble a Japanese nashi pear. So it's very textured, it's very granular. And then the birds over the top of it are created with the togidashi makie. So here you can see at the background, that's the nashiji, and then at the top, you have the togidashi. Now this Kisamon Birds in Flight pen symbolizes happiness. So there's lots of happiness imagery on here, which I'll talk through in a bit. As we go around, you see again here, it's the pilot clip. The Namiki branding will be used more universally later on, but this is still early 1990s. And we go around the back here, there's another bird. There's a lot of very stylized things here, which I'll talk about. They're not precise, technical, one-to-one -one matches. They're quite stylized stuff. Okay, so there is some Raiden. There's some Mother of Pearl. It's the thin layer of the inside of certain shells. In this case, it's blues and greens and purples. It's cut into the shapes. It's held in place with the Urashi and burnished with charcoal. So there's some little elements of Raiden here, which you can see right in the middle. They've cut it into squares. It's predominantly green, but when you have Raiden in a pen like this and you rotate it, you see you get all these different colors from it at different angles. So I'll just show you two or three images because each image will give you a slightly different feel of how they do the Raiden. Now they've got the Raiden in these strips composed of squares. It's very carefully placed. It looks very nice. So I like the Raiden effect. It gives a little bit of a difference because you have the strong red gold of the background and you have the lighter colors of the birds. I just want to draw your attention to this. This is the Namiki Emperor Treasure. We discussed this and reviewed this before. It's full of icons of happiness, wealth, and luck. And many of these things are replicated on the Kissamon pen. However, they are replicated in stylized form. Now, the first one I want to draw your attention to is the pine branches, which is the bottom left here, and there up on the right-hand side, those are pine branches. They're not individually showing pine needles in green, like on the treasure pen, but they are pine branches, and prime branches, as you'll have heard before from my videos, it's another good luck icon. As we rotate the pen around here, the next thing you're gonna see are these cherry blossoms. So in the middle of the pen there, there's half a cherry blossom. There's one on the reverse. At the top right there, there's some bamboo leaves, another good luck icon. Again, not rendered exactly as you'd expect it to be in high detail, but showing you this very stylized form. So it's a collection of objects that are good luck, that are happiness. So if we take a look at the nib, this is a pilot branded size 50 nib, which means it's huge. It's 18 karat gold. 
They have a smooth right, a wet flow controlled by the valve. It's the older branding. So if this was a modern Nimiki pen, you'd see a Mount Fuji snowcat with rhodium highlighting to show you the Mount Fuji. In this case, this is the old style. I rather like the old style. I like both. You know, I, would, I would quite like to have a Emperor with this style as well as the ones I have already with the modern style. Now, this pen hasn't been inked and I suspect many of the Kissamons you'll ever see on sale have not been inked because they were a very select group of pens given to Namiki executives. So this isn't inked, but it will write like the other emperors were it to be inked. The typical thing you get with emperors is that your fingers are a long way back from the tip of the nib when you write, which means if you were using your fingertips to control your pen, you will find that very difficult with a pen this size and it requires hand, wrist, arm gestures. So for me, when I started writing with Namiki Emperors, I had to retrain the way I wrote. However, it did me a lot of good and I love writing with them. It took some getting used to, but I absolutely love writing with them. So this is a beautifully stamped nib. If you do want to see how these type of pens write, please check out my Namiki Emperor Fountain Pen writing sample and review video, which I am linking right now. That will give you an idea of these pens. So let's have a look at some of the detail on the pen. Now we can see here this beautiful Raiden and the birds. Now the birds are all flying from right to left. There's three birds, they're all flying that way. There's none in reverse and they're all flying upwards. So it's up, and it's right to left. So for me, the standout thing of this pen is how different it looks from the other Namikis which I have reviewed and from the, I mean, the whole total 70 approximate pens which I will review on this channel in total, there's only two pens that look like this and this is one of them. So the style is extremely different, especially from the modern Namikis. So as I look here, it's just so very stylized. It's not as bold and aggressive. You've got gold on gold with a little bit of other coloration. Your birds are gold with some silver and even the silver has warm tones in it. So the birds don't stand out hugely from the background. They are slightly raised maquillé, but it isn't a bold pen. It doesn't have the strong contrasts of the big blues and the big golds that we see on the dragon or all the reds that we see on the goldfish. This is a much gentler pen. It's a much more serene, one feeling to it pen. And its relevance is entirely based on the imagery in the pen, a bit like the treasure pen. If you don't understand, if you don't know what these things mean, then this pen doesn't make a lot of sense. This pen is three birds flying and some things going on in the background. So without knowing that there's eight or 10 different Japanese themes of happiness and luck and fortune going on in this pen, it doesn't mean much. So it's definitely a, should we say, domestic audience pen. And this pen was given to Namiki executives. So very much as a Namiki giving their own executives pens that talk about continued good luck continued good fortune, which is exactly what they'd want. And it isn't really a pen that's designed to sell to other people. And the only reason that they now command the extremely high price tag that they do is that they're very rare. And we now have collectors who are prepared to go out there and find these pens. So it's really quite an interesting pen, but it's going to resonate with less of a international audience than many of the other pens that I show you. It was quite fascinating for me to try and get information about this. There's not a lot written and I enjoyed it. So I hope you found it interesting and I look forward to showing you many more pens. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much and goodbye.